Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. I know, it's been a minute. I just want to take a moment to apologize for not uploading for so long and just to make it short so I'm not here talking for hours and hours. I'm horrible at time management. I'm just gonna throw that out there. I, Brooklyn, my daughter, she started school and I was thinking, oh, she's gonna be at school so this is gonna give me so much more time when actually it's harder because I have to leave at a certain time to go pick her up. So it kind of cuts my day short. So it's like I have a hard time going to the gym and doing makeup so it's like I have to do one or the other so I've been trying to get back into the gym because the gym helps my anxiety and depression a lot but so does makeup so I'm like I gotta find a healthy balance so today I'm not going to the gym I'm sitting down and I'm filming because I miss it and I need to get back into it so that's the that on that <laughs> uh, today we are going to be talking about the New Norvina palette by ABH. This is the volume two collection. She already came out with volume one, which I didn't get to do a review on, but this was the first one that she came out with. She did this one first because she is obsessed with the color purple. So this is the, I guess you could call the purple palette. And she also just came out with this one. And this one is more on your cool tone side. It has your blues and greens, and I am absolutely obsessed with this palette. Uh, a lot of people are complaining because they are coming out so close together, and she hasn't exactly told us why and what happened with production. She says she'll let us know in about a month. I'm assuming it has something to do with her fall launches or her holiday launches, I'm not sure. But the, the volume one, the purple one, was supposed to come out last spring. We'll just the last spring that we had and um, this one was supposed to be the summer palette and then the one that they had just uh, talked about the volume 3 which is the final volume which is the orange one and it looks more fall was meant to launch when it is launching now so that's why they are so back to back they didn't intentionally do this so I feel for them but I am so excited not only did they come out with this palette they also came out with 10 new glitters, which I already took them out of their PR box. So I'll just post some pictures right here and I will show you all, all of these arm swatches of all the glitters. I'm really excited to dive into those. So let's get into um, the pricing and all of that and then I will get into the tutorial part. Okay, so this palette along with the volume three that I will be getting on Thursday. And if y'all want a review on that one, let me know down in the comments as well. They are both launching September 26th, so this week I believe. And so are the glitters. This palette has 20, well all of the palettes, the Norvina palettes have 25 shades in them and they retail for $60. And um, I do want to say that it, on the back of the box, it does say that some of these uh, pigment or some of these eyeshadows are pressed pigment and they say that they are not recommended for the immediate eye area they do that they say that for their own safety so they don't get sued basically they're okay to put on your eyes they're just warning you that they most likely will stain your eye that's all it's saying I just wanted to let y'all know about that the glitters are retailing for $15 a piece that's a little pricey but they are really, really pretty. You pick a few that I like the best. This one is called Team No Sleep. And it is so pretty. It's purple, but it has like rainbow reflect. And then, of course, this one is Dimension and it is the star one, which I think I'm going to play with this one today. I don't have an eye look in mind yet, but, you know, we'll just go with the flow and see what happens. And the glitter adhesive, um, if y'all didn't know, I really like this. And this retails for $18, and this is going to last you forever. It's a pretty big bottle. How much? 
This uh, bottle has nine milliliters in it, so it will last you a very long time. With all of that being said, let's go ahead and get into the tutorial part. I completely forgot to tell y'all, I'm sure you already noticed, I chopped my hair off. It was so thick and it still is thick. I just, I needed to change. I was always wearing my hair up. I'm sure as you saw in my pictures and in my uh, past videos and I'm a blonde. I know, big, big change, but I love it. And it feels so good to not have all of that hair. Anyways, I just needed to point that out. Let's get to the tutorial. Okay, so I did one eye off camera. This is kind of what I came up with. What do y'all think? I, I had to use a star glitter. It was so pretty. Okay, so the first shade we're going to go into is A2, which is this like really pretty like highlighter yellow and I am obsessed. Oh, I did forget to tell you in the intro that Norvina was not about to name 25 shades. So she just has the palette from A through E and one through five. So you'll have a1 through A5 and so on. All right, so we're going to take A2 and I'm just going to start in the inner corner and we are going to start creating this like winged out shape. This color is so cool. And I did prime my eye with my P. Louise face. All right, now I'm gonna go into the shade B5, right here, very vibrant blue. These are very different blues. They're not really showing up that great on camera, but B4 um, is not near as vibrant as B5, and they are completely different colors. So let's go into B5. We're just going to connect, and you'll start to blend these two together and that's how you create this really pretty like turquoisey green color. So you can see the two colors starting to mix already to make that pretty green. All right, now we're gonna go into the shade B4, which is right next to the one we just used. It's just a little bit of a deeper blue. Okay, so now we're going to go into the shade C3. Right here, it's like a really pretty, like, purpley blue color. It's kind of like a violet in a way. And that is going to be the last color we work with on this outer part of my eye. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just keep perfecting this. All you're gonna do is just keep blending the colors and just making them have more depth as you can see over here. I'm gonna do that off camera because that takes just a second. And then I will come back and show you how I start this outer part. And then I will cut the crease. Okay, so off camera, I cut my crease and I started the outer portion right here. As you can see, I kind of like blended it across my eyelid. So that's what we're going to start with. I'm gonna go into the shade B2, right there, and just start kind of following this line and just keep blending it over. It'll make sense in a second. All right, and when you start doing this, you wanna make sure to not mess up this right here. So you wanna be sure and keep your line right here. You don't want to start blending that. You wanna keep your cut crease right here nice and sharp. And when you're blending right here, make sure to not smudge around that cut crease line too much. I'm gonna go in with B5, which is that really pretty vibrant blue right here and just continue to do the same thing.
All right, now I'm gonna go into the shade A2, which is that lemony yellow color, and do the same thing. And then those two colors are gonna mix again to make that really pretty green. Okay, and then I'm actually gonna have to go into the um, Norvina Volume 1 palette to get the white in there and that white is the whitest white eyeshadow i've ever used so you can see like this is just the p louise base and over here is that white on top of it it is so pigmented i am obsessed so let me do that off camera and then we will come back and do the lower lash line and the glitter and then the tutorial part will be done okay so now we're gonna do the lower lash line really fast this won't take long at all and i was Debating on what I wanted to do, but since this is a review, I wanted to use as many colors in the palette as possible. So that's why I went with a warm tone lash line, if you will, to get some use out of the pink and orange. So that's what we're going to do. We're first going to go in with D3, which is the pink, blend it out with D2, and then kind of tie it all together with this A2. And then with the glitter, all I did was kind of just zigzag them. It's really easy. But let's go ahead and do the lower lash line really fast. Now I'm going in with the orange. And just blending that pink out. And then going in with A2. Really easy, just like that. And then I'm just going to go in with this glitter dimension and just place the stars in a zigzag like that. And that'll be that. So I will come back on camera when I finish my eyes and my face. And I'll come back and do arm swatches and give you all my final thoughts on this collection. Alrighty guys, so this is the completed look using the Norvina Volume 2 palette. And I used the Dimension Glitter. And I really love how this came out. It is super pretty and right up my alley with the cool toned colors. So I decided that I'm actually not gonna do swatches unless y'all start like really recommending them just because I personally don't like doing swatches because it doesn't really show you how they're going to work onto your eye. One, you don't have primer on your arm, and two, you're not applying the shadows from your finger to your eye unless you're doing it on your eyelid and you're using a shimmer. But I just feel like they're not very accurate, but if y'all want me to start doing swatches again, y'all let me know down in the comments. Also let me know if y'all are going to want me to review um, volume three when I get that. I should get that in Thursday. Today is Tuesday. This will be going up Wednesday. So you'll have to let me know pretty quickly if you want a review on that as well. But overall, I really, really enjoyed the palette. Honestly, no surprise. In my opinion, the palette, um, the shadows in these palettes versus their typical palettes that have the, I think they have they have 14 shades in their original palettes, you know, the rectangular ones. I like the formula better in these. Um, it's such a big pan. The mirror is high quality. The packaging's high quality. It's a good sturdy plastic. And I'm just obsessed with this entire Norvina collection. Um, the glitters, I'm going to say is more on the pricey side, but if you're a glitter fanatic like I am, then I say go for it. You won't be sorry. They're really good glitters. And the glitter adhesive is really great as well. I didn't have any problems blending the shadows. It all worked really well and I am obsessed with this collection. I cannot wait to get volume three in. Um, I can show you all a picture of it right here. It's like your warm tones with pops of color and I... I'm really obsessed with that one. I'm gonna, this is my favorite, and then that one, and then the purple one. But um, yeah, so y'all let me know if y'all are thinking about getting 
the volume 2 collection. Don't forget to let me know down in the comments if y'all want me to review the volume 3. And if y'all do, of course I will. And it feels so good to be back on YouTube. So sorry it took so long. I'm going to try to get back into the rhythm of things. And oh my gosh, I gotta do a shout out. Jeffrey, let me clean it with my boob. <laughs> Jeffrey sent me his new chrome. Oh, it's so dirty already. He sent me his new chrome mirror. And well, he actually sent me a gold one too. This one's kind of, it's not as dirty. But oh my gosh, they're so pretty. The holidays are coming up, so be expecting a lot more videos from me. And like I said, I'm super excited to be back on YouTube. And yeah, y'all be sure to let me know what y'all would like to see. And yeah, guys, um, if y'all enjoyed the video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. It would be greatly appreciated. I love y'all, and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.